Okay, hi. Uh, this is just a quick video. I'm starting to try and use the uh, Synthstrom Deluge here uh, to play a sample. This is because I'm having a discussion with a guy on the um, Synth Lord on um, Facebook, and he's asking about using the FM engine in the Deluge. Uh, he's put about uh, using the sound of a spoon as a, a one-shot sample uh, to make noises with. And I've said, OK, I'll have a go at that. Uh, like here he puts the, what about sound design synthesis? Can you turn the sound of a spoon into an evolving, scoring sci-fi instrument? I've no idea. So what I'm going to do is have a go. He's uh, sent me, uh, I put there, where is this spoon sample? And he's sent me one here. Uh, he's also sent me the files, but I'm just going to do it from the audio here. Off an iPad because this is all portable. Uh, the wire just comes out of the earphone socket and then goes straight into the back of the deli, use the mic socket. Or you could just do it direct from the mic. Um, so I'm going to have a go at doing this, but I'm going to be using, because I'm, I'm not really very familiar with this, <laughs> uh, using the deli for samples, because I'm only just starting with it. So I, I'm, I'm just looking at the iPad, so you don't think I'm clever. I'm using the iPad for the manual for the deluge uh, dead simple and I'm just going to have a look through and how to set it up etc so I'm first thing I'm going to do is go new so that's a new uh, synth sound whatever kit sorted out um, and it says to set up uh, where is it audio inputs Recording audio into clips. Uh, recording a clip in song view. So I'm literally reading it as it is. Um, where do I select the audio in? There. So I'm just reading this. Select the audio in. Press song to go into uh, a range of view. Uh, select the audio in, uh, press on learn input and audition a pad. Audition pad is selected audio to record it. Press learn input, audition pad. Oh, sorry. Is it that one? Song. Song. So that needs to be flashing to be in a range of view, I think so. No, maybe I'm doing this wrong. Let me go and have a look. So this, this is I'm a brand new at this. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. So uh, I think this is arrangement view because that's not flashing. Uh, audio input, arming audio, create an audio clip. Ah, right, so that's what I've not done. Press song to switch to song view and press song again for a range of view. Right, so that's when it's flashing. Press and hold audition pad. I think that's that one. Yeah. Uh, this could be used to blank. Press select. Audio one came up then. Um, select the audio clip and allow audio to be loaded, recorded, etc. Press song, so I'm going to a range of view. I am in a range of view. Press and hold learn input on audition pad. Learn input. Audition pad. Right, here we go. So this is the input. I can choose off, left, right. And each time I choose this two, uh, I don't know if you can see that actually, with this lighting. But it says S-T-E-R with a dot or without a dot. With a dot allows me to listen through my headphones to it, and without a dot, doesn't. So I want stereo in, because we're coming direct from the iPad, which is stereo, to the stereo mic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
a display exit the setting before recording I'm pressing select back or whatever so that's, that's selected now that way of recording arm the audio track for recording press and hold record to see its track status right, arm draws mute pads flashing red right right so that's now armed because it's flashing red so i just had to press uh, recording that at the same time to arm it press song song to range of view which i'm in ensure audio input is set and tracks are armed they are record should be lit now it is press play and recording will start then record buttons will be lit all arm tracks will record the red recording cursor will travel left to right across recording how do we finish press record again to stop recording right so now i need to go to the facebook page here's the uh the sample thing plug the audio into for the deluge and let's see if we can record this sound so i need to press both of these at the same time, I assume. Right, so has that recorded? it has so there's the first uh, section done I've recorded that audio from the iPad through a simple cable uh, stereo jack into the mic and it's recorded it into there now I've got to learn about uh, what to do with that sample to do something with it so I'll come back and do the next bit of the video when I've had another read of the manual see you in a bit Okay, uh, so I've been trying to uh, find out the best way to record into here. Um, I've done it once, had an interesting time for half an hour, um, and then decided to try again, this time making a, a kit rather than just a plain sample. Uh, so I go into a clip, uh, press shift kit to make a new one. Um, So now there's nothing in there. So then I've got to record the sample. Um, and I need line in, which I've got on the mic. Uh, that's, let me just turn this around a bit at the back there. That's just indirect from the iPad again. And I'm just gonna play that sound using the uh, video player in Facebook. Um, I need to press shift and kit. I've created a blank kit. Uh, the browser will want to set the sample. Press record. So I've got shift and new kit. There we go. So I can press record. That's what I recorded previously, but I'll do it again. Go to here and press record on the deluge. And then stop. So that's just recorded the sample into here. This is then, um, press audition. There's the sample from uh, Facebook now. So I can alter that already using the filter. So now I need to slice that uh, to just put it across the kit. Uh, so to slice, um, 
need to go to uh, select no uh, how do I do this then this before see I'm, I don't know what I'm doing so for shifting kit for, right so it's shifting kit again so I've sampled it in already to a kit but now I'm going to do this again that's the one I just recorded that's how I did it yeah so that's the one I've just recorded into it um, then I go to press and hold select then it goes to slice or you can have it all or slice if you go to all it just pushes it on one line if you go to slice select it can slice it into up to 16 different samples so we'll, you can change that number uh, we'll try 16 uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so try 16 so now we should have that sample we just had uh, this is what it looks like in the manual if you can see that uh, sliced into not eight but 16 samples on these audition buttons something on that one there we go Uh, so that was silent now what I need to do is go into the waveform view to begin editing where those samples are taken so if we go shift waveform that brings up the whole of the waveform and that's zoomed out view so I can zoom into that view by pressing and turning that top left see and now we've got a start and end of sample that's why the first sample silent so I need to tap there bring this over here a bit tap there bring that over there a bit and now this first pad should sound sounds a bit like a drum uh, so I'm going to scroll along a bit and just see what I can do uh, zooming in again press down turn it and all of a sudden we've got a zoomed in view So we can have that shorter, longer, press the bottom button there, bottom pad. Right, so we'll have, that's double in, oh that's because it's got a double waveform in there so I can bring that up there. should probably going to take forever this so if you're okay with it taking a long time it probably will do uh, that's great if not stop watching <laughs> so I'll have that as the first sound go back so now I'm going to go to the pads that second one there which I now selected shift and uh, waveform and again I'll zoom in, take this to a different place. So what I think I'll do is I'll edit these samples and see if I can zoom this uh, section of the video really fast until I've edited all these into sounds that I could use, okay? Okay, uh, so what I've done with this sample, uh, let me just uh, go to the... I've got one sounds, well, I'll show you them all from the start. There we go. So 
So I've got various noises on all of them, but um, that sounded similar to all the others. So I thought what I'd do there is shift reverse and just reverse the sample. Yeah, so that's now reversed. Um, we can you can also put the pitch and speed up and down. So um, well, we can do that. Um, not like that <laughs> don't know what I'm doing you see right so that's all done uh, got those so um, in, in that section now then if I press play nothing happened at the moment so I could just have that going on you know, as you would. And so on, um, which is pretty boring. That sounds like it needs to just be altered slightly. So I've got a waveform zoom in. Yeah, that needs to just go to there and to so it's it, it's on there uh, rather than being short. So. So with all that going on, this again is not really a, a thing, is it? Um, jump off that so I can see it all. Bring those up and down. Yep, I the entire clip. Now I'm trying to do the sci-fi thing. <laughs> yeah. S remind myself, that's the sci-fi thing, really? I don't think so. Um, so what can we do? I don't know.
perfect frequency and resonance of their first envelope. have a look at a synth and sample into the synth so I'm going to do the same thing again I'll stop the video here just while I re oh, should I just do it in sample into the synth I just need to press what shift and synth to create a new synth Audition and load. So, audition and load. Bottom to top means it will assign the, the sample top to bottom of the keyboard. Uh, press select to confirm. That's the sample, so we don't even need to resample it because it's already there. Select it. So, so the sample's now in. Um, and there is a delay, and the reason for that delay is because if I just drill down into this, that's where the sample starts. I need to bring that to here. Yep. And zoom back out again. There we go, to go to here, where I can zoom in and just take that to there. The reason I'm doing this is, well, should become apparent in a moment, to there perhaps. Um, and then I can go to reverse the sample. So that's that sample now reversed as uh, a noise in the synth right uh, and then because it's a synth we can start uh, editing the synth um, so let's have a look at uh, so if I press go back to song mute the drums ish <laughs> for the moment and just use the synth bit um, Extend the length of the clip to four bars. Zoom out 
so I can see it all there. So actually, we extend it up to eight. Sixteen. There we go. It's sixteen long now. Uh, so nothing at the moment. So each one is playing a single. Um, So that's very weird. Um, maybe I should reduce the size down to four. There we go. Right, so that's four, isn't it? Yeah, so let's see where we go with the... Let's put that just playing along there. That's just playing the whole of the sample. So we could get it to alter... the length of sample it plays and again this is just cut off from resonance at the moment I've messed about with so I can modulate those obviously have a look how well it goes. Up higher. Ah, of course, I won't hear it high because of the. some movements now. Um, Can leave that doing its thing. Uh, 
And there we go to the drum. So it's called. Three hours. And so it happens. If we allow that to work. So, I don't know, uh, there we go, could this be a soundtrack to a science fiction movie? I don't know, you, you'd have to decide if that's the case. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. 